boy, out of all the conditions that a person can experience, shingles is right up there as far as um, how it can impact someone's life, almost with some people to the point of suicide. Shingles comes from this uh, virus called the varicella zoster, and it's a virus that is latent or dormant in your body. So some people can experience this virus coming out of remission and creating this severely painful rash. So I'm going to talk about that as well as what you can do to get some relief right now, as well as, well, more importantly, to keep this virus in remission. But to do that, you have to understand a little bit about the nature of this virus. So I first want to just share some data that really aligns with what we're going to use as a treatment. The first thing to know is that it's a weakness within your own immune system, which is kind of good news because it puts you in the driver's seat. You can control this virus if you understand a little bit about the immune system. But the first thing you need to know is that certain things will trigger this virus coming out of remission. Uh, certain drugs will do it. Uh, being on prednisone will do it, even though that sometimes is part of the treatment. But if you use this treatment too long, it creates a weakness and then that virus starts coming out. Prednisone is a, kind of the medication version of cortisol, which is a hormone activated by stress. And so stress, because it can paralyze your immune system or lower your defenses, lower your white blood cells, can make you very susceptible to having this virus come out of remission. So anything that dampens the immune system or suppresses the immune system uh, will cause this reactivation of the virus. This is why um, radiation is also a trigger of reactivation. Now, let's just think about radiation. I'm not just talking about being in front of an x-ray, but that could do it. But I'm also talking about the sun, not regular sun exposure, but if you burn yourself or you get too much sun. So a sunburn can be a reactivation because that's too much UV. But the melatonin from the sun can also be very beneficial. And pesticides in your food supply and your environment can also be a trigger. But there's something else that's much, much bigger as far as an, a triggering for uh, this virus. And that is, are you ready for this? Are you sitting down? It's a low vitamin D state or a condition. Makes you very, very susceptible to having this virus come out of remission. Let's take a little bit of a deep dive into the relationship of vitamin D and this virus. All right, the first piece of data is that shingles is worsened with a low vitamin D situation. People that live further from the equator are at more at risk for getting shingles. And that also correlates with vitamin D as well. People that are treated with vitamin D have a much less risk of getting a reoccurrence from shingles. People that are on dialysis have a 16 times less chance of getting an outbreak of shingles if they take vitamin D. Another huge risk factor for getting shingles is people with high blood pressure. And it just so happens that 90% of high blood pressure is essential, which means it's an unknown cause. There's also a high correlation with people with MS that have outbreaks with shingles. And probably the, one of the best treatments that MS responds to is high doses of vitamin D. There are definitely hundreds of different ways that vitamin D helps or even controls or modulates your immune system. Vitamin D increases all sorts of different uh, chemicals or weapons that your immune system uses to kill viruses. Vitamin D directly keeps viruses suppressed, not just this virus that's involved in shingles, but many different viruses, including Epstein-Barr virus and TB and respiratory viruses. And your white blood cells even have the ability to make vitamin D. Now, you're probably going to hear a lot more about this next thing I'm going to talk about, but the term is polymorphism. Now, what is that? That is an alteration in certain genes that can affect various things in your body. And more and more people are getting genetically tested and to find out where they might have uh, weaknesses within their genetics. And one very common genetic weakness is within the vitamin D receptor and its ability to absorb vitamin D. If you have a vitamin D receptor polymorphism, then the regular doses of vitamin D are just not going to do much. You're not only probably going to be deficient in vitamin D, but the normal amounts that an average person would take don't really work on you. And having this problem also puts you at risk 
for getting shingles. So another thing that's interesting about vitamin D is it's not really a vitamin. It really is a hormone, okay? And it's very similar to cortisol in what it can do as an anti-inflammatory and also what it can do for your immune system, but without suppressing the immune system. Cortisol suppresses the immune system. Vitamin D will dampen the immune system, but only if it's overreacting. Vitamin D will take someone with a lowered immune system and raise it, or with too much immune system and bring it down to where it should be. So any treatment that you would apply cortisol or prednisone would benefit from vitamin D. And people who have shingles are three times more likely to have low vitamin D in their blood than people who have never experienced this virus. But again, if you have a genetic weakness within that receptor, that could be the reason why you have an outbreak. So all this is very interesting, but now what are you going to do about it? There's three things I'm going to recommend. Number one, go out and get a vitamin D cream, a topical cream you can put directly on the shingles rash, okay? And you rub it in and you put this vitamin D into the lesion at least three times a day. The next thing you want to do is start taking vitamin D. I would also make sure your vitamin D also has magnesium and maybe some other factors to make it work a little bit better. But you want to take no less than 40,000 IUs of vitamin D every single day to beef up your levels and put this virus back into remission. And the third thing I'm going to recommend just to really enhance uh, this vitamin D is to go out and get some geranium oil. It's an essential oil. And also put that topically on the lesion wherever it is, because not only is this oil antiviral, but it is also great for pain. And you're going to notice within five minutes, the pain's going to come way, way down. And so both attacking this from the outside in and then from the inside out is going to be the best strategy. And so the whole goal is to keep your resistance okay, very, very high. And the most powerful way to do that is to keep your vitamin D levels where they need to be. Now, there's many other things you can do, but vitamin D is going to be your best bet right now, especially if you have an acute problem. Now, the fact that you have shingles tells me that your immune system probably needs more support. So for that information, I put this video up right here. Check it out.